South African coal industry uh, mines roughly 240, 260 th million tons of coal a year, of which 130 million tons goes to Eskom. Um, currently, 65 million tons goes export, and the balance is domestic coal. Uh, if, you, if you extract Sassel out of it, um, and the cement and lime industry out of it, the big own users, there's still a 16 million ton a year inland market, which is the market that we've been focusing on. There is an ongoing demand within South Africa for coal. If you look at uh, Eskom, they're building Kusili and they're building Madupi now, they're coal-fired power stations. We all know that we're short of power in this country. We know it. India is going to be short of 200 million tons of coal per annum from next year. And where are they going to get that from? They've got to get it from, from other producers worldwide, and South Africa is one of them. The problem in South Africa before was that Transnet Freight Rail could not get coal down to the bay. When Brightson's Brian Malef has come in, they've changed their whole... TFR is a different, different organisation. This performance appraisal is right down to the last guy. They've turned, they've turned Transnet Freight Rail around to where they couldn't, they couldn't rail 63 million tonnes of coal to the bay two years ago. This year, if they, could, if they could get enough coal on board, they could do 72 million tons. That's massive. That's a huge improvement. So suddenly we're finding in South Africa that because in the past the mining houses blamed TFR, now TFR is saying, well, our trains are empty. Put the coal on our trains. There's not sufficient coal to be put on the trains. What are they doing? They've now got to take the coal off the inland market to export it. So there's a shortage of coal in the inland market. I think Eskom has already said that, that they're very concerned. They are very, very concerned about the amount of coal that's going out of this country to India and other low-quality users.